Hey y'all, it's registered dietitian Robin Patera, and today we're making our next superfood recipe of quinoa gluten-free stuffing. So I'm making this recipe for Thanksgiving in honor of my grandmother who is gluten-free, and this recipe uses quinoa and another super grain called Fonio. You may have heard of Fonio. It used to be very popular, but it kind of fell off the wayside, but it's expected to make a comeback. So you'll be the first to know. Now Fonio, it's kind of a grain that used to be used to make porridge, but it's actually even healthier than quinoa. It has all of the essential amino acids. So we're gonna use this Fonio in this recipe, but you could also use wild rice if you didn't have any. It is kind of hard to find. I got mine on Amazon, but you could check your lo local health food store as well. So to start, we're just gonna get a big pan like this. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna add a quarter cup of diced onion. You can use red or white. And a half a cup of diced green apple. We're just gonna heat this on our stove top for about five minutes until the vegetables are tender. That looks great. So we're just gonna remove it from the heat and then we're going to add one cup of fonio to one and a half cup fluid. So you can use water or reduced sodium chicken broth or vegetable broth. We're gonna put that back on the stove, bring it to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer and let it simmer for 30 to 45 minutes until it's a consistency that you like. You want it to be somewhat thick. So it's been about a half an hour and the fonio is done cooking. Doesn't it almost kind of look like stuffing? Anyway, so we're gonna add the quinoa now. So you could just add in the raw quinoa with another cup of fluid and let that cook for 15 minutes, or you can just cook the quinoa separately and add it in. So then we're just going to add some dried cranberries, parsley and thyme, and sliced almonds or any nut that you like. Pecans work really well too. And then you're just gonna stir it all together. And then you're gonna bake it at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now I did mine in a pan like this so I could just pop it right into the oven. But if you don't have a pan like this, you would just transfer it to a baking dish and then bake it. I hope you enjoy trying this recipe with your family and happy Thanksgiving.